Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Premier Football Chat. We're just going to drop a review on the massive game that took place yesterday between Arsenal and Manchester United. And boy, this had a big build-up and it de definitely delivered. It was an absolute cracker of a game. So yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, Arsenal played really, really well in this game. They we started off really well, high pressing, forcing Manchester United into some defensive mistakes and on the back foot and yeah they conceded a few corners early on. Man United managed to weather the storm and yeah they scored a really good goal through Marcus Rashford. So yeah he managed to take on Thomas Partey and Workhorse made a really good run into the box and took Gabriel into the box which opened up the space for Marcus Rashford to smash home an absolute cracker from long range and yeah Aaron Ramsdale had no chance for that one. Arsenal continued to play well, rallied. The thing about Arsenal, which is really good is for them, is when they concede is that they, their heads don't drop. They manage to keep going and have a really good resilience. And throughout this game, especially in the first half, their midfield were very dominant and winning the ball from Man United in the midfield. So, yeah, Bruno lost out to Odegaard, who, who, was, who was absolutely outstanding. It's like the ball's... Stuck to him, it's like he's got mag mag magnets in his uh, boots. So, yeah, he's very good at Odegaard. He's having a really good season. And, yeah, he won the ball quite a few times from Bruno Fernandes. And, yeah, Xhaka won it a couple of times from uh, Christian Eriksen. So, yeah, Man United went 1-0 up. Arsenal kept going and pushing. And then, yeah, Man United conceded through a mistake of, from their own doing. So, basically, Lissandro Martinez took the goal kick and passed it back to De Gea, which I felt was a bit needless and necessary. And then he played it out wide to wan -Bissaka. And wan is not really the best on the ball. His strength is 1v1 defending. So yeah, Martinelli as well, when you've got him up against you, you don't want to be dwelling on the ball because he'll just press you. And yeah, he's very good at winning the ball in high areas. Him and Saka are probably best at it. So yeah, they forced uh, Man United into conceding the corner. Sinjinko played a really good part in the goal, playing it out wide, and then yeah, the other ball came into the box and Eddie Nketiah managed to score a brilliant header. So Von Bersaka sort of just left him to and he should have been he should have done a lot better on the goal, Von Bersaka. So yeah, Nketiah sort of sensed that the a goal was was there to be had and then he was right because he managed to get in on the back post and head home to make it one one. And then yeah, in the second half Arsenal started off really, really well, pressed really high and forced Man United into a few mistakes and yeah, they managed to get a goal through uh, Saka who kept, he was really good in this game, Saka, he's, he's world class, he's, he's best winger in the league, him and Rashford top two and yeah, he was pushing Luke Shaw back but on the goal he, it was Ericsson this time that he pushed back and then yeah, he managed to curl it into the bottom corner and yeah, scored to make it 2 1 Arsenal. And yeah, and also I forgot to mention, yeah, Ben White, he came off in the, for, at half time. He wasn't having a bad game, but he was on the yellow card, and it was a very good tactical decision because he was up against Marcus Rashford, and he also committed another foul as well. So I feel like had he stayed on, Man United would have targeted that area. And yeah, Rashford still managed to get past Tommy Astor a few times as well. And yeah, he had a really good shot and he went through the defender's legs, took a deflection. Ramsdale made a really good save. And then yeah, from a corner Man United, so the, yeah, from a corner Man United managed to equalise to make it 2-2. So yeah, the ball, so Aaron Rams Ramsdale sort of flapped at it and it came back out to Lissandro Martinez and he did a looping header which went up over the Arsenal defence and Gabriel was, it, was unable to head it off the line despite his best efforts but yeah for Man United in terms of I feel like because Arsenal were on top in that second half and just like pushing Man United back and yeah they, yeah, they managed to get the goal which meant Man United had to come out and play and that was probably one of the best things that happened in this half because it would have just been all Arsenal and but yeah it made Man United come out and get on the front foot and yeah I thought like Goss had a decent game in terms of like linking up the play and yeah Arsenal once, like I said in, early in the preview, they managed to keep going and yeah, in this game as well. So yeah, they were just pressing and pressing in this game. And Man United tried to bring on Fred because uh, Saka was just causing so much problems coming inside. But yeah, it, 
it wasn't to be. So yeah, they managed to. Yeah, Man United sort of like were getting pushed back in this game, and I felt like they should have brought on Garnacho a bit earlier to because they put they put Bruno onto the onto the wing, and it meant that Man United didn't have that balance. And I thought if they had Garnacho on like they did against Man City, they would have had a bit more of an outlet. And yeah, play, play who can like run at the defenders cause problems. But yeah, Arsenal were just pushing and pushing and probing, and then eventually they managed to get the breakthrough. Ball came through to Enketia, who played a little. It was like yeah, lovely flick and yeah, it went in and in the last minute and it sparked off wild scenes and like I said, I think this was the game of the season so far and it could be very pivotal in Arsenal in their bid to win the title. Man United, they've done really well. It's one defeat in eleven. I think they're a little bit further behind in their building process, but you have to give credit to Ten Hag because he's made Man United more competitive if you think back to last season where they were just giving up in games, especially on the road. But yeah, there's still room to, for improvement for them and yeah, Arsenal will look to carry on the winning formula and they go to Everton on the weekend, which should be an interesting game because Everton are under a lot of pressure and it's at Goodison Park and if Arsenal score early because they like to start early as well it's going to cause a lot of uh, unrest in that Goodison Park crowd. So yeah, that's the review for the game between Arsenal and Manchester United, which finished 3-2 Arsenal. And it was a really good game. Let me know what you think. Drop the comments and hit the like button and subscribe. I'm out. Peace out. Have a good day.